ready or not, the Western Athletic Conference Tournament is upon us, and both CSUB basketball teams are headed to Vegas this week with the women hitting the road earlier today following that season finale win on Saturday. Good vibes sending with them. CSUB women's runners looking to end their season on a high note, and they did just that. Andy Easley showing off her handles here. She ended the day with eight points and was the second leading scorer while the runners ended the regular season with a 49-41 win over the Lopes and are now awarded the sixth seed in the WAC tournament. They'll face that familiar foe as they'll open up the tournament against GCU. And Greg McCall, he believes his team is still the one to watch out for despite seedings and records and some losses towards the end of their season. All the other games were right there in every game, all the way down uh, close to the end of those games, some down to the wire. And same thing like with just New Mexico State, just recently on the road. We were right there, had the game won and missed some easy shots and still ended up going into overtime. So we are right there and just so I still believe that we're the team to beat. Transfer Jaden Eggleston received some WAC honors today before the ladies headed out as she was named to the all newcomer team, leading the runners with 11.9 points per game while also carrying an impact on defense. Her squad opens up WAC tourney play on Wednesday against those Lopes while the men will open the tournament as the seventh seed taken on number two UTRGV on Thursday. But good news for those teams, they beat both of those opponents recently, so maybe those uh, vibes will carry with it mm -hmm. them to Vegas. Yeah,